Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and today I wanted to show you guys the new New Zealand bank notes uh, which have been out for just over a year I think, so maybe a year and four months or something like that. And as far as I know the old money isn't going to stop being circulated, like it's it's still going to be legal tender for $5 or $10 or whatever, um, but they're just introducing the new notes so it's not like when they changed the the coins in New Zealand and the coin like the old coins had a set time before they were you know completely removed from circulation and I feel like not everybody has seen them so I thought it'd be quite nice to just show everybody I don't have the $100 note though <laughs> I'm sorry but yeah I did manage to get most of them out so but this was the old one so you've got a nice image of the bird there and then you've got the queen in all her glory and so this is the new one so you've still got the bird you've still got the queen but it does have like a slightly different look like the bird is completely designed differently um, and then you've got like this huge plastic see-through plastic bit there the interesting thing to know about the New Zealand dollars is that it is actually made of plastic. It's like a woven plastic, so it's not um, paper money, which I actually thought that it was. <laughs> but anyway, you learn something new every day. To the $5 note. So here you've got the nice penguin, and then you've got Sir Edmund Hillary, the first to climb Mount Everest. New Zealand hero. Let's move on to the $10 note. Look at that. That's so bright and beautiful. Like the blue is honestly amazing. And then you have um, Kate Shepard who was a suffragette who helped get um, New Zealand women the vote and New Zealand was the first country in the world to grant women the vote. So pretty significant. Um, I'll just show you the 20 again just to keep the, the order going. And then um, the last one that I have is the $50 note. And then so that there is Sir Apurana Nata. And the interesting thing about him is that he was the first Maori person to um, get a degree um, in New Zealand. Oh well I guess anywhere. Um, and he, so he studied law, but later on he was also the first person in New Zealand to gain a double degree. So, you know, quite a few, quite a few firsts for New Zealand. And so this is what the old one looked like. So I reckon that they've actually redesigned his face as well. I just really love how that, that mushroom's popping and the bird just looks so gorgeous and beautiful whereas like this other one it's a little bit more muted and they've obviously gone for like a you know a more stippled sort of textural bird but i really love the smoothness of this bird and it just it really makes the colors pop it's, it's the first time that they've reissued notes since 1999 so it's actually quite a long time like 17 years um, so that's pretty good. New Zealand actually has like a relatively low rate of currency fraud or what would you say, um, currency counterfeiting. Um, so it's not really designed out of a necessity but more of like a, you know, a preventative measure. They probably could have done, like gone a few more years without um, adding in these extra security features. With the old money, you could hold it up to the light and you would see like an image of the queen. Oh, I don't think it has that. But there is this interesting little fern there, which when you hold it up to the light, it looks see-through. But um, when you look down, it looks holographic. So that's another interesting feature. I actually really like the new banknotes because like you know they are brighter and it's like the whole thing that they're going with. There's a website called brightermoney.co.nz which gives you information about the new banknotes. The $100 bill is pink 
and it has um, Ernest Rutherford on it, which um, he's a New Zealand born British scientist, well he was, and he was the first person to split the atoms. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope I did give you guys a little bit of information. If you have any questions or anything, you can pop them down below and I can try and answer them for you. But again, thank you so much for watching. Hey, Dawn!